So today in our 8th class mathematics, in 10th chapter, under direct and inverse proportions, in exercise 10.1, this is the 9th one, a train moves with a constant speed of 75 kilometers per hour. How far will it travel in 20 minutes? Find the time required to cover a distance of 250 kilometers. So here, what is given? 75 kilometers per hour, that is distance and time are given. So let us make a box with distance and also time. So how much distance it can travel? 75 kilometers. In how much time? 1 hour. 75 kilometers per hour. Per hour means 1 hour. And then there are two bits given under this. How far will it travel in 20 minutes? In 20 minutes, how much distance will it travel? This you have to find out. And also, Find the time required to cover a distance of 250 kilometers. In 250 kilometers, how much? Find the time. Here, how much time it will take to cover 250 kilometers. Okay. So now, here if you see, this is in hours, this is in minutes. So let us convert this minutes into hours. So again, like in the previous problem, we know 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 20 minutes is equal to how many hours? If you take this as x, 1 by x is equal to 60 by 20. Just write the reciprocal. x by 1 is equal to 20 by 60. x by 1 is nothing but x. So x is equal to 20 by 60 hours. So 20 minutes is equal to 20 by 60 hours. We are converting this into hours. Okay. So I will write here only. In this only I will write. 20 minutes or 20 by 60 hours, capital H is hours. So if I take this as x, this as y, this becomes x1, this is x2 and this is x3. If I take this as y, this becomes y1, this becomes y2 and this becomes y3. Now because this is in direct proportion, that is as the distance is increasing, the time also will increase. Whenever you are traveling, if you are traveling for 10 kilometers, if it is taking 1 hour, for 20 kilometers, it will take 2 hours. Okay. So, as the distance is increasing, time is also increased. And as the distance decreases, time also decreases. So, which means it is in direct proportion. We know the direct proportion formula, that is x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. Which implies, here what is x1? 75 by y1 is 1 is equal to x2 we don't know I am writing as it is by y2. y2 I have to write this one which I converted into hours because both should be in hours. That is 20 by 60. Okay. So let us simplify this you write in your rough column. I am erasing it now. So now here what you will get? So that is 75 by 1 is nothing but 75 is equal to x2. This is division x2 divided by 20 by 60. Which means if I write as into it becomes a reciprocal 60 by 20. So cancel this 2 2 gets cancelled 2 1s are 2 3s are. So 75 is equal to x2 into 3. I want the value of x2 so bring this 3 to other side. So x2 is equal to so this x2 is equal to 75 if I bring this 3 to other side it divides by 3. So cancel it 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are 6. From 7 if I remove 6, 1 will be left out. It becomes 15. 3 5s are 15. So x2 is equal to 25. Okay. What is x2? x2 is the distance travelled in 20 minutes. So here how much distance it is travelling? 25 kilometers. Even if you observe here for 1 hour it is 75. For 20 minutes it should be less than 75. That is 25 kilometers. Therefore in 20 minutes... In 20 minutes, train can cover a distance of, train can cover a distance of 25 kilometers. Okay, so this is the solution for your first bit. Now, let us try to do the second one. Okay, I am erasing it. This is for the first one. The box is the same. I am drawing the box and this is for the first bit. 
Okay, after first bit, I'm erasing it. Now let us do for the second bit. For the second bit, here you take this one, this and also this. So that is x1 by x3 is equal to y1 by y3, which implies you write this step down. I don't have place, so I'm writing this implies x1 is how much? 75. Sorry, this is x1 by y1. x1 by y1 is equal to x3 by y3. So x1 by y1 is 1 is equal to x3 is 250 by y3. We don't know y3, I'm writing as it is. So this is very simple. I'm erasing it. So here, I want the value of y3. Just write the reciprocal. Reciprocal on both sides. So I'll get 1 by 75 is equal to y3 by 250. I want the value of y3. Bring this 250 to other side. So y3 is equal to 250 by 75. Okay. So 25 ones are 25. 25 zeros are 25 threes are. So y3 is equal to 10 by 3. What is y3 here? That is the time taken to cover a distance of 250 kilometers. So 10 by 3, if you write in the decimal form, can you see this? 10 by 3, 3 3 is a 9, 1.0, 3 3 is a 9, 1.0, 3 3 is a, it goes on like this. That is 3.33, so on. So I am stopping at 2 decimals. So roughly you can take 3.3 and a half hours or 3.33 hours. So time taken to travel, time taken to travel a distance of to travel a distance of 250 kilometers is 3.33 hours so if you observe here for 1 hour it is 75 kilometers this should be more than 1 hour so you are getting 3.33 hours like, subscribe and share my channel.